Hello, friends. How's everybody doing today? We are live here, I believe. Always love to wait and make sure. Uh, we are live here today at 9 K Wood Lane in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. We are in Barkley Farm, um, Old Barkley, the Old Barkley side and it's a fabulous home, renovated top to bottom. I am so excited. This is a really good one to see. So I will be glad to see some of you tuning in here with us today. Just gonna give us a minute here, make sure we are truly live, I think so. Until I see that little person count, I never know. It's a real stressful time here when I don't see one, but we can get started. Um, we are at 9K Wood Lane. So this is a cul-de-sac. doesn't say cul-de-sac in the address, but it is. Sometimes we see like, oh, okay, with court or something like that. We are on the very last home before the bump out into the dead end cul-de-sac. So no through traffic. It's really nice and quiet, very safe back here. Uh, it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath Northfield model. So for those of you familiar with um, the Barkley models, which we live by the names here, uh, it's one of the biggest colonial models. It is known for a couple of key things, including just the overall square footage being one of them. But uh, sometimes when someone's trying to describe it to me and they don't know the name, they'll say the one with the peekaboo fireplace or the, the double-sided fireplace, which you can see, I'm gonna show that to you. Um, so that's kind of the signifying item for the Northfield, the signature. Um, so again, it is four beds, two and a half baths. We do have an addition on this one on the lower level. I'm actually standing in it now. I'm gonna show it to you. Um, so that gives us an overall square footage of just about 2,500 square feet. It's 2,449. It is a colonial. It has a very large basement and it does have a two car garage as well. So in terms of our amenity set, this one hits all the boxes, which is really exciting. Haven't had too many big homes lately and the ones that we have had have done extremely well. So this is a great opportunity. Um, we are live today. Today is the first day on the market. We are going to be live at least for the rest of the week and into the weekend. We have two open houses, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. We want to get as many bodies in here as possible. We want you guys to come see this. Um, even if you're not sure if you're in the market, even if you're just a nosy neighbor, want to take a little peek, that's fine. We want to see you. We want to say hello and show you the amazing work that this family has done renovating this home. Um, it is a total rehab. I'm not calling it a flip, it is not a flip. A flip is when people make a couple changes and try to capitalize. This is a true full renovation, rehabilitated home. Everything's done, there's no project. It's not just paint and carpets here you're gonna see. Serious, serious money was spent doing this home and it shows, and it shows beautifully. It's so much fun to stand in and look around. So again, for anyone just joining us, we're at 9 K Wood Lane in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. The price is 585. It's a four bed, two and a half bath home with a full finished basement and a two car garage on a cul-de-sac. So again, saying all the good words to you here today. It's basically everything you wanted to hear. It has a nice deck, I'm standing in an addition. I think we can get started. Um, as I walk you to the front door, I just want to go over a couple little things here. So this is an open house. It's just me and you. Um, if you have questions or comments, I would love for you to drop them into the chat and I'm going to do my best to answer them as we go through. If you're working with a realtor, you can absolutely speak with me here today and then work with them to schedule a showing or submit an offer. So I'm standing with the front door at my back. You see over here, we've got Really nice front hall closet with dual sliding doors. We've got this signature side turned staircase. Let me see if I can pinch out. No, it's not going to pinch out. Um, that's another signature for the north field is that the staircase is running up the side and you're kind of um, showing the whole thing as you come in. And then we've got a formal living room to the left. I am going to start you this way today. This is the way normally when we're showing it that we come in. So I'll just point out a couple things. I'm very eager to get you into this kitchen, but first things first, we've got a beautiful updated powder room. Let me see if I can show you the floor. Love this floor here. And we are standing on an updated floor that spans the foyer and into the kitchen in addition. The rest of the home has original hardwoods. When these were built, there was no hardwood in that area. It was, I think, a tile entry and tile kitchen. 
So this is our formal dining room. Now, you'll notice the bay window. It's perfect if you've got like pets that love to look out at the front of the home, if you have plants that love to soak in the sunlight. And we do have good light here. Um, look at that speckled sunlight coming through. We've got a mature canopy, but also a good amount of natural light, which is really kind of special, I think. So this is our formal dining. Not everybody thinks that they need or want a dining room. So we have seen this reimagined as a study, a playroom, an additional sitting space. You've got options here. So yes, it is originally the formal dining and that's how most people use it, but you don't have to. With four bedrooms upstairs, I don't know that most people would need to use this as a study, but I just always like to tell people that's a possibility. And isn't it pretty? And then we're stepping into the completely reimagined, reconfigured and renovated kitchen. This is truly a showpiece kitchen. We have a um, converted gas range. When these homes were built, they were built with electric stoves. So that has been converted to gas because there's gas in the home. So it's, you know, doable. Let me step back here. Try not to crash into anything walking backwards. Look at this beautiful, like chef's dream come true here. So you've got a double wall oven right there. You've got your cooktop. And then it's a perfect triangle. Those of you who cook know you're always looking for that triangle to the sink, which is in that island countertop bar area, which I'm gonna show you. Microwave is down below, so you're not staring into a microwave while you cook, which is one thing I can't stand. And then your refrigerator is right here. Where I was just standing there, we have this additional little workspace, which is really lovely. And then this kind of acts as almost a full pantry. It's all around the refrigerator, all of that storage and additional little workspace. I would probably do like a little coffee bar there. And then this is really a great island here with stools. You get down here. So you've got two stools there very comfortably at this huge, super versatile island. It's, I think it looks like perfect square. Um, and then what I wanna say about that is a lot of times we'll have an island, but actually there's like a sink or the cooktop in it. And I get so many objections to that saying, well, I really just wanted it to be an island. I wanted to be able to do service. I want to be able to feed my kids there without worrying. And this is it. This is your perfect square island. Sink is over there. Isn't this great? Let me know what you think, you guys. If you wanna tell me what you think here, if you have questions and want me to show you something a little more closely, please just speak up, we can do that. For anyone just tuning in, we're at 9K Wood Lane in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Now this is really interesting. Actually, I think for this to make sense, I'm gonna to have to show you where the addition is first. So let me step back. This header up here is normally the end of the home. And to the left, there's usually a slider or door out to the backyard. And then this is just a wall with windows. So everything beyond that header is added space. Huge family room bump out here. Again, super versatile. Use it how you want. Look at this. All of that added space. Which if you can imagine, now that I'm all the way back, imagine that the home stops there. It's much smaller. And I mean, this is a big house, but that is a huge amount of space that you've got added. And what I really like is that they put the sink right here, nice big sink with no divider. And so if you're imagining you're doing dishes, prepping, anything, this is a countertop with seating and you can stand, I'm standing right at the kitchen sink now and I can watch TV with my family or friends I can see everything that's going on. I'm participating in conversation. I get to be part of this, which is so, so, so nice. You know, 1950s and 60s construction, we have a lot of galley kitchens that you're really kind of like all by yourself. But here, we have the opposite of that. It's really lovely. Very friendly vibes here. It's very upscale, very communal. So I can sit right at this bar and I'm not in the way of whoever's doing the cooking here. 
but I'm talking to them and participating. Maybe I'm helping with prep. I could chop stuff sitting here, eat my lunch, whatever I want. So this is really, really, it's very thoughtful and purposeful. And then look at these beautiful views here. Now this area over here, when you don't have the addition, sometimes this is used as an eat-in and sometimes this is a little sitting area. I actually grew up in this model. We used it as a sitting area and didn't have an island, so we had a kitchen table. But again, with all of this that's been done, you have so many options, but I think, I think I would do exactly what we've got here. I think I would do a nice like four or five person table right there for my casual meals. You've got your formal dining room for the more formal ones. And then again, look, you're participating. Stand back in this corner. Any questions, you guys, let me know. We are at 9 K Wood Lane in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I'm in the back corner, I've got my back to the fireplace. Now, I mentioned that at the beginning, Northfield has what's called either a peekaboo fireplace or a double-sided fireplace. You can see right there, so it's one fire, two rooms. Um, it's really cool, you can convert it to gas, that's obviously wood burning right now, but look at this, this is original Barclay brick with all of this character. When Scarborough built these homes, he reclaimed the brick from Philadelphia salvage yards. So the brick is telling a story, it has history, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the new floors span, like I showed you in the entry, the entryway all the way into here, this whole space is uniform flooring, which is really nice. And then the rest of the home is original hardwoods. I'm gonna show you the laundry. There's a cool pocket door there I wanna make sure I show you. But first, let's step into the formal living room. Look at this space. Again, this home is priced at 585. That is a great price for this amenity set. We did recently have a Northfield. It was an intense bidding war. <laughs> Might also be that here. This is one of those homes you're not gonna wanna sit and wait and watch if you like it. Again, open house on both Saturday and Sunday here. Now this room is truly a formal space. This is, um, having grown up in this house, you know, this was always where we had holidays and more formal gatherings. Doesn't have to be. You could set this up as your TV room. You could have TVs all over this downstairs. There's enough places for TVs here. But then here's this beautiful fireplace. Look at that, all that charm, original. I love this color, it's like a very, um, like a museum classic colonial color here. Isn't that great? But nice mirror over the mantle, call it a day. And then you're looking out on three sides of the home from this room, which is really special. It's one of the things I love about this nice extra long living room is I've got a view of the front, two views of the side, and you're really, I mean, there's a house there, but you're kind of like, it's very private. You're not looking really at anybody. And then that's a backyard window right there. The color in here is absolutely gorgeous. I want to pay compliments to the people that renovated this. It's like a greeny gray and then a blue gray. And we've got some real neutral gray. The colors in here are just great. So that's our downstairs. I want to show you a couple of other little things here. Number one, we've got a closet right here, which is really awesome if you have like um, a router or are doing a surround sound or something. This is a great central location. I've seen a lot of people have like a stereo system in there. Um, so that's a little Northfield secret here. And then this pocket door, and this is really special because normally, let me see if I can get this off breaking my nails here, all right. So you can close this off. And normally this would not be here because there's electric and some venting in this wall that has been moved to enable you to completely close that off. So now I'm standing in this little mudroom laundry room combo in between the garage door and the kitchen. Now, if you wanted to dress this up, go on Pinterest, figure out your design plans here. This can really be dressed up. Another thing you can do, I'll show you, there's another storage closet right here. 
So like pantry, excess stuff, cleaning, etc. Another thing you can do is turn this into a butler's pantry with a sink and put cabinets in here. So you've got options. And then this opens up to your two car garage. There's still some stuff back here from the renovations, but huge oversized two car garage. Step down in here with a big workshop area in the back. So you can set up some woodworking opportunities, crafting, extra storage. You can park two cars in here and still have a ton of space. And then overhead, all this storage, I've seen this even finished off and you can put a pull down right here. Really good opportunities. Oh, and then we've got little family handprints all over, which I love. You can paint over them if you want, I won't be mad. <laughs> but it is cute, little piece of history. So that's our downstairs. Any remaining questions on the downstairs? Let me know, we're gonna go upstairs. Again, we're at 9 K Wood Lane, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 08034, we're in Barkley Farm. We are on a cul-de-sac in a nice big colonial that has been renovated top to bottom. I wanna give you a close look at these. These are the original hardwoods, beautifully refinished and like this neutral icy blonde which is so in right now. Wouldn't you have fun decorating this? This is obviously staging furniture in here, but like getting into this and getting it decorated would be so much fun. Okay, we're gonna go up. I'm gonna do the bedrooms in order. Sometimes I start with the primary, but I'm gonna just go in order of appearance here. So first we have, um, this is the second smallest room. There's four bedrooms total. There's nothing in here right now, so it's kind of hard to imagine, but absolutely can fit a queen size bed in here. Even a king, although most people wouldn't put a king in one of these. Good closet space throughout. Got that shelf and bar in there. There's ceiling fans and lights added in every room. This is the largest of the bedrooms other than the primary, of course, so the second biggest bedroom in the house. Again, all new windows in this house, everything is done. Not a single project to tackle. I love the color in here too. It's a real kind of neutral, grayish khaki. There's your light and fan. Good closet space, all new doors everywhere. Literally not one thing left undone here. And then this is the smallest of, of the three bedrooms, but even being the smallest, it's not small. This is also a really good opportunity to show you the cul-de-sac. So it's right there. You can see it probably like five or six houses that kind of encircle the cul-de-sac. You see the little little guy holding the, um, the flag. I don't even think you need that here, but it's because there's often kids playing out in that cul-de-sac. People put their lawn furniture facing the cul-de-sac. It's very communal. Great, great neighbors all around. Really nice opportunity. And then again, A plus on the color here. Really good choices that got made here. There's nothing kind of sadder than stepping into your rehab and disagreeing with some stuff. So here we have, close this, beautiful, look at this, I wanna make sure you can see. I love this tile. It's like, kind of reads like a weathered stone brick. It's, it's ceramic, but, and then a nice, completely replaced tub, all the hardware is done. All it needs is a tension rod. And then beautiful new vanity. Look at this floor. The floor choices here are stunning. I absolutely love this choice here. It's just pulling everything together so nice and it's fun and exciting without being kind of like, ooh, that's a weird one, you know. Nice updated light fixture. Gorgeous, right? And now I'm gonna take you to the primary. So. Actually, first let me show you linen closet here. And then one of my favorite things about the Northfield is this closet right here. 
this is your catch-all upstairs storage closet. Is this a light? Let me see. So growing up in one of these, this was sleeping bags and suitcases and all that stuff that you don't want to be going in and out of an attic for because there is a huge attic. I'll show you where the attic is. There's the pop-up right there. You just need a little ladder. You can also cut a pole down if you want. You would just have to relocate the whole house fan. Do you guys know what a whole house fan is? It's exactly what it sounds like. You flip this baby on. I'm not going to do it now. And there's a huge fan that sits on top and these, these flaps kind of open. And it moves air throughout the entire house very quickly. So on like a hot spring night, but you know it's going to get nice and cool and you don't want to turn the AC on, you just put that thing on and your house is completely changed over with the air. Look at this. So the complaint we get a lot in Barclay, not a lot, but sometimes actually, is house sizes are great. They're so well built. I love it. The primary is too small for me. This is, I think, the biggest primary suite of any of the Barclay models because you have an enormous room, easily can handle a king size bed and as much furniture as you want. You could put a dresser there. You can put like a sideboard. Sometimes people do a TV right there. You can put something in the corner. I've seen built-ins on these walls. Another dresser can go there. So like literally whatever you want. And if you're looking at this thinking, oh, but the closet's not very big. I have a huge and very happy surprise for you. So huge room, beautiful, bright, added ceiling fan and light. Brand new sliding barn doors here. Look at that. Oh, it's so smooth. Perfect, perfect door here. And then you step into a bathroom. The first thing I'm gonna show you is, is your walk-in closet. So this is a walk-in closet right here. You could do all kinds of organizers and stuff in here if you wanted to. There's a light. So there's the second closet, which is pretty special. And then you have a huge, beautiful bathroom. Isn't that great? Absolutely love this. Look at that beautiful new vanity. It's a, a marble tile floor. Walk-in shower. Oversized, not, not like silly, but you know, like a nice big size here. If you wanted to put anything here, you definitely could. This is just kind of a blank wall. You could put a little seat or a bench or something. Let me step back so I can show you the whole view. Does that house fan work? I'm seeing, I would assume so. I am not gonna um, try it on, but Jesse, we can, we'll test it and get back to you, okay? Gorgeous bathroom and look at this suite. So again, two closets, so much space, total versatility on setup. Normally we do see the bed with the headboard here. This seems to be the most obvious spot for it. I don't see why you couldn't also do a bed right there if you wanted to and then be facing a window, but I like it this way. Absolutely beautiful. What are you guys thinking of this house? Do you like it? I know I do, <laughs> but I wanna hear from you. Again, we're at 9K Wood Lane in Cherry Hill. We're in Barkley Farm. So again, just, I wanna give you a lay of the land. So these, this was the order of the bedrooms I went into. One, two, three, and they're all clustered together on this side so that you have some separation because the primary suite is over there and then separated by the two bathrooms back to back. Is that a queen size bed that's in there now? I believe so, let me check. Yeah, that's a queen, Jesse. Obviously, you, I would probably place the headboard the same way, like an end table right there and then start the headboard there, but it, a, a king size would probably go more to the end of that end table. And then you could still fit your end table on the, the other side. So plenty of space. All right, so yeah, and you've got all that nice separation so that you've got your own space. We're gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna try and show you the basement. I am on cell service here. It's a vacant home with no Wi-Fi, so hopefully our good friends at Verizon will let me do this because I really wanna show you this basement. 
If I lose you, I'm gonna run back up the stairs. Just hang with me for a sec. Going down into the basement. Again, we're gonna be open Saturday and Sunday of this weekend. This is really, really good. <laughs> I mean, in terms of basements here, it's, it's finished, it's got a floor, it's got painted walls. You could do sheetrock if you wanted to. All the windows are new. Yes, Jesse. All windows are new. Basically everything's done. Look at this incredible basement. That's the unfinished side over there, but let me step back this way and give you the full scope of the finish with the flooring. Look at this. So playroom, additional living and rec space, hobby area, um, exercise. If you had like a Peloton or some sort of exercise equipment, you could absolutely do a gym down here. This is a nice brand new floor, high density vinyl. And then we've got two unfinished areas. We've got right here where the utilities are. It's actually one with two entrances. So your utilities are here. Let me step into this and this is all storage. So probably, I think I've never actually checked the um, measurements, but I think the Northfields has the largest basement in Barclay. See so utilities there. This is just so good. It's so like your electric. There's new electric, updated electric. Everything's done. Just unpack your bags and start decorating. So this is a really big deal to have. We've got a ceiling, a floor, and painted, nice neutral painted walls. Dries a bone down here, nice and cool. And this is a steel I beam, so you can't always see this. I get asked about this thing a lot. Scarborough, when he built these homes, insisted on a steel I beam going all the way across the home. And that's why we have such good well-built homes here, there's almost no settlement that happens. These are, you know, 60, 70 years old now. How much square footage is down here? You know what? Um, the We measured the finished portion at 23 by 29, and there's probably just as much in the unfinished portion. Now, if you guys need measurements, disclosure, anything like that, give us a holler. We will get all of that in your hands. You can DM me or the team. I'm tagged here, I'm Eliza. Let's do another loop through. I'm gonna to talk to you about location and then we're gonna step outside together. Location, location, location. I have mentioned 79 times to you that we're in a cul-de-sac, so you know that's important. Um, we are, you could be on 295 in a minute from this location. Commuter's dream, 70 is right here. Two swim clubs. If you don't know about the swim clubs in Barclay, you need to. There's two, Cover Bridge Swim Club and Barclay Farm Swim Club. We are approaching sellout on at least one of those, if not both. So hurry up and get registered for the summer. It's a great way to meet your neighbors in the community. Isn't this so good? Look at this view here. Like the, let's do a lemon, lemon shot here. Um, the Barclay Farm uh, early, Barclay Early Childhood Center is right over here, and Russell Knight is on the other side of the neighborhood, two incredible schools. One more time with this brick. Again, we're at 9 K Wood Lane and Cherry Hill. The price here is $585. Um, the Barclay Farmstead, which is a historical site and a museum. Let me walk you through this way. Trails, playgrounds, Everybody goes there to take pictures. Our team just went there and took pictures. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful place. The trails are awesome and they're kind of all abilities. They're not, it's not a difficult trail. A couple loops through the woods and there's branches of the Cooper River. Such a wonderful place to visit. And then we also have like awesome shops and restaurants. There's Norma's Farm and Fisherman. There's all kinds of places right here. You could even walk from this location to some of those. And I, I mean, Barclay is like, it's one of these neighborhoods that people just say, well, I think I really want to live in Barclay. And there's so many reasons why. It's such a great place to be. 
let's go outside. What do you think? You go see the backyard. The fun continues outside. Now I showed you from that top bedroom some of the, uh, the view of the cul-de-sac. Let's look out here. Oh, it's heating up today. New roof. Okay. It's important. Siding right here. Everything's done. Look at this beautiful deck. So you still have a ton of space. This is a nice big lot. Ton of space out there in the grass. We've got a mature canopy overhead. All the trees look good and healthy. Can't get it angled all the way up here. Limitations of the stabilizer. But this is right off the addition. And then there's a step down here and a step down here. And then look at all this space. Now there's a little bit of landscaping happening for the open house um, this weekend. So there's some mulch bags in the front. Those will be gone very soon. But look at all this space. So, you know, kicking a ball around, playing catch. You could do a swing set. Um, really, really nice. It is not fully fenced. It's partially fenced, but would be very easy to fully fence here. And there's looking into that addition. So that's I mean, when you're looking out at that view, it's this. It's pretty. I would do a white fence like that, I think, here, if I wanted to fully fence it. Birds chirping, all the good stuff. Who has questions? This will be your last opportunity to ask any questions. Look at that view stepping in, my goodness. <laughs> it's so pretty, it just kind of hit me. Um, this is such a gorgeous thing to be stepping into. Just want to stress that this is a true rehab. This is a rehabilitated home. It is completely new top to bottom. There were no corners cut. I think you can probably see that, but it's worth saying anyways. This kitchen is a dream kitchen. Originally, the, the configuration is very different from this. I love the changes that were made here. Really smart. So guys, if you want to see anything more closely, if you'd like me to revisit an area, this is your chance to ask me. Otherwise, we're going to make you come to the open house. Lindsay, it looks like you've got a whole bunch of questions about ages. We will get the um, disclosure to you. If you can send us a DM, we'll send you all of that. Okay? Basically, everything is done. There's, there's, no, there's no project here. So just send us a DM and say, hey, can I get that disclosure? Anyone else who wants it, just, just let us know. I don't have a printed copy with me today, otherwise I would rattle them off to you. It's also hard when I'm holding a stabilizer to be turning those pages. <laughs> but definitely take a look at the, um, the listing. We've got a ton of pictures. What color are the cabinets? White? No, they are not. That's a great point. This is, it's gonna be hard because we're dealing with um, an iPhone. They're like an oatmeal. It's not white. Let me, uh, okay, this, <laughs> we'll do a little white test. This is white. Okay, you see the difference? Look at, I'll try to get it so you can see. They are not white. It's like an oatmeal gray, very creamy, really pretty color on that. See, there's that little pineapple I just stole. Laundry is right there. Yeah, isn't that nice? And then, oh, the accent color down here is like a, I would call it maybe, it's not an espresso, it's like a, bronze gray, I want to say. It's nice and dark. So if you look at the, you know, there's the um, contrast there. And then are the cabinet soft clothes. Look at that. Yes, they are. Good questions. Keep them coming. It's way more fun to be interactive with you guys. Last call on questions. You get to drive me around here. Tell me what you want me to do except turning the whole house fan on because I just don't want to do that on camera. It'll be so loud. I am going to test it though. All right, guys. So like I said, <clears throat> two open house opportunities this weekend. Any slide outs inside the cabinets? Let me see. Oh, love the paint colors. Thank you, Mary. Let me show you. I think you were asking um, here. Lindsay, oh, and Lindsay, if you missed the beginning, uh, we post this 
you can go watch. You'll see the, all the bedrooms upstairs. They're a good size. There's four of them. I don't see any slide outs. I think what you're talking about is like those pull out wood drawers within cabinets. Um, let me check this one. I don't I think we're just dealing with standard cabinets here. They're not quite big enough for that. All right, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap here. I want to thank you. Sorry, hair went crazy when I stepped outside. It's a little humid today. Um, I want to thank you for joining us on another virtual open house. If I could get the, the hair right here. Um, I hope you liked it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous house. I think my enthusiasm was obvious here. These don't come along too often. This is really special. Oh, you're welcome, Lindsay. Um, come see it in person this weekend. Or if you don't want to wait, because what's today, Wednesday? If you don't want to wait two, three days, four days, just come on in for a showing. We can do a showing. Um, you can request a showing right via DM. You don't need to like call a phone number or anything. Just tell us when you want to see it. We'll get you right in. Or if you have a realtor, tell them. And that's it. Thank you for joining me at 9K with today. I'll see you guys at the next one. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.